Hey again everybody, it's uh, Big Pete from uh, 850 Armor Works. Um, I'm here today uh, doing the uh, wrists. Um, this is again a really simple, uh, this is going to be a simple video. I've showed you guys how to do it before. Go check out the previous videos up here. Um, and uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get started with it. So here are the adults. Uh, size comparison uh, from adult to kids. Uh, you're missing about... Mm, a good two to three notches and they're way way skinnier I could honestly probably put these on my wrist once they're done but they're just gonna be too short um, and I have pretty skinny skinny forms um, all right so a couple things about this one um, so for the adults some differences is in the adults we use a separate piece right here um, it's uh, I think it's silly I think we should mold it into it but a bunch of people complained about it and stuff, but this looks fantastic on here. We molded it right into there. Again, since it's for your kids, this is gonna last a whole lot longer. It's banging around and because your wrists are gonna hit things. Um, so that's one thing about this kit that I that I really like compared to the adults actually is because uh, these being a separate piece is just a nuisance um, and this is much easier. Um, so let's get started. I'm gonna cut these guys out. Um, I'll show you it once everything is uh, cut out, but. We're going to cut them out, glue them together, uh, throw some greeblies on it, and uh, we'll be done. So, uh, yeah. All right, so we got everything trimmed. Um, this one actually goes together really easy. It, uh, it almost wants to stay together just because it has uh, multiple points where it basically uh, uh, just sticks together. I mean, these things couldn't go together more perfectly. Look at that. That's on there. It's perfect. Perfect. Yeah, it's not a piece of rubber like in the CRL, but this is kids armor is much much better for kids um, If you wanted to stick a piece of rubber on top of it um, Paint a rubber band. I don't know. Just it just needs a piece of rubber if you wanted to do that. I wouldn't even do that though um, But yeah, so what we're gonna do this is the left arm the left arm has um, these little uh, these little things on it as well as it's going to get one of these. Um, mine's 3D printed. Um, I just uh, sanded it down or uh, painted it and then sanded the spots where I'm going to glue it onto right here. You, you always want to make sure you sand before you glue onto it if you've painted it. Um, so I sanded the parts so I'm just going to glue it at these three points right here. Um, which is kind of concerning for kids. I might try and find another solution later um, just because when this attaches um, it's going to attach right here. And these guys are free floating. You can see the. Let's see if I can get the. Yeah, you can see the, how those are free floating. Um, there's a gap in there. I'm worried that um, my kids are gonna um, break these off. I might put something under it and glue it to that. Uh, not quite sure yet, um, but that's how this is gonna go. Um, one other thing that I'm going to do, and um, it's mainly a uh, fitting thing. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue just the top side. Um, then I'm going to leave the free floating. Um, I'm going to get a little bit of uh, Velcro and I'm going to put Velcro in the inside just in case uh, my kids get bigger or need uh, some adjustment room or can't slide their hand through the little hole. I don't want to glue both sides. Um, so I'm just going to glue the top side and then um, use Velcro on the bottom. So let's get to it real quick. Um, we're just going to glue this part on and then get that greebly on. Um, so I'm going to glue um, this side over this side again you could do this if you wanted to if you had bigger forearms you could do a butt joint like this and do a cover strip method um, it's completely up to you um, I'm gonna do it this way but there's there's options you know if you have a larger kid or whatever there's there's lots of different options and if you have any questions you're more than welcome to um, to, to ask them uh, down below or uh, hit us up on the uh, the Facebook page um, any of that is uh, is totally fine and we'd be happy to answer any of your questions so let's do this though again I want to make sure my glues towards the outside just like in every other uh, build video I've been doing for this armor and that's just so that we don't get um, glue on our finished piece so it doesn't show at least um, All right. 
There we go. That part's glued. This part's still open. Again, this is the left arm, so the, it's the bottom part I'm having open. So when you have it on, you won't see the Velcro or anything. It'll be under underneath the arm. Um, so then the next piece that's going to go on is going to be the Greebly. Um, a better view of it. Yeah, so there's like a little a little mounting plate right there, and then it's like they basically go on top of it. It comes as one piece, um, but we're gonna glue this side um, onto it. Now, if uh, if you're I guess looking top down on it, right, it's gonna go on the right hand side. Um, so match match the picture. So if you had this if you had this uh, arm piece on, you'd be able to see uh, see it from the top side rather than. Um, down here, right? Because your arm would go into it like this, um, go into it like this, and the greebly is going to go right here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on it, put some accelerate on it. Um, these are these are much smaller too. We downsized the downsized these as well. This is for a comparison from the adults to the kids. Um, so they are significantly smaller, and they fit pretty much just perfectly right in between. Um, it's maybe half an inch from the bottom and half an inch from the starting of this line. Um, so, yep, I'm just going to glue those down real quick. Then I'm going to push on it. I wish I had somebody else here to use it to get my accelerator, but I don't, and I don't quite think I can do that. So I'm just going to hold this like this, um, and I'm basically just bending it a little bit so that it, um, all three points adhere to it. Since it's not um, since it's not curved, um, I'm just curving it a little bit with some pressure. Um, and then once that sticks, perfect. I'm going to drop a little bit of accelerator. And then push again, just make sure it it worked. I can feel it getting hot, so it's working. <laughs> All right. Yep, that's on. There we go. We'll do some weathering uh, to that a little bit later. Um, but yeah, there's your left arm. Um, we're gonna do the same thing to the right arm. Um, we're gonna glue the uh, the top again, um, which is obviously gonna be like that so we're gonna glue this side um, but anyways um, so that's the forearms um, if you haven't already subscribe um, and uh, if you need any other videos or if you have any other questions or anything um, feel free to hit me up again um, go ahead and uh, go like uh, 850 armor works on Facebook I'll put a link down below um, and yeah all right, tune in later for our next video. I'm not sure what part we're going to do next, but tune in.